Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Ken Kelsey with MrTruck.com, episode number three, still in Vegas after all these years, 2019 Zama. <laughs> Kelsey from Mr. Truck, and I'm here with Morgan from Waysafe, and he's going to show us this weight distribution hitch. Awesome, so this is our weight distribution hitch here. It's the True Toe Weight Distribution Hitch by Waysafe. Um, it has quite a, it's, it's a, it's a real game changer. We believe it's a real game changer in the industry for quite a few reasons. One of the main reasons is um, it has a built-in scale that measures tongue weight. Knowing your tongue weight um, can help you, if you're, you want to be in with that 10, 15% of your gross trailer weight, um, with your force of your coupler on your tow ball. That's going to reduce most of your, uh, your sway and help you reduce your wear and tear on your vehicle. But knowing our tongue weight can also help us to know how much we need to redistribute our tongue weight on, back onto the front axle of the vehicle. And so what we've come up with is a weight distribution hitch that can now be used on any trailer and uh, uh, vehicle across the board and it can be easily switched between uh, trailer and trailer. So first feature here is our dual locking key assembly. There's no more bolts. On all of our competitors' hitches, you need to torque two bolts to 310 foot-pounds. With ours, all it is is a little key, you pull it out, and all the moment or the, the torque force is actually put into the channel here on the, on the draw bar. And so to switch from a trailer to trailer for your height setting, all you do is you take your key, you unlock it, pull it out, switch it to the new height, stick it back in, and you're ready to go. Another thing we have here is, is what we call it our live weight uh, distributing system. We have a lead screw here that actuates this lower pivot arm system on an axle that uh, pushes down on the spring arms to distribute the tongue weight back to the front axle. Um, but what we've, what we've discovered is when you hook these bars onto your trailer brackets, the, the weight, the force between your coupler and your tow ball increases. And since that is where we measure tongue weight, we can now also measure your, it's called your distributed tongue weight, or DTW. And what we can do is, we have an app here on our phone. Let me just pull it open here. It's called the WaySafe app. It's available on Android and iOS. And you can add different vehicle setups onto the app. So you, I have here an F-350 and my toy hauler back at home. And when you first get your hitch, you're going to take three vehicle dimensions. Here. So you can type in, you're going to save your vehicle uh, name and uh, trailer inside the app. And you're going to take these three me measurements, the rear vehicle axle center line to the tow ball. There's a little image there. It's a simple uh, measurement. The second one is from the tow ball to the, where the, axle, the, the trailer brackets are hooked on. So, there we go. So that quick measurement, you pull out the spring arm to take those measurements. And the last one is your tow ball to your either your center of your axle if it's a single or between the two axle tow balls okay. uh, of the of the wheels. You can also save your your uh, setup, your height and the position of your draw bar in the app. So when you first set it up, you go you go through those quick measurements, save it into the app. Then, oh, then every time you hook up, um, you plug in your snake straight away. And that's going to give you a, a safe tongue weight range. Then you put your trailer on and you want to make sure you're in that range. So for this vehicle setup at home, I have 950 pounds of tongue weight. Once I pull that in, I hit calculate and it's going to give me what that distributed tongue weight number needs to be on the gauge. So you match it. So I get, you match the two numbers and then you use this uh, bar that someone just walked off with. I've got one. So you can use this as our lift arm. Um, it's, it's a dual use tool. One is it's able to lift your spring arm onto your spring arm platform that's hooked to the trailer. With this end, you just get underneath, lift it up. But the other end is your three quarter inch hex uh, socket wrench. And once you, once you have the spring arms connected on, um, you just adjust it very easily. You start tightening it, it increases the load on the gauge and loosening it, or lefty, uh, it will, lowers it. So all you have to do to redistribute the weight back on your front axle is you just tighten it until you reach the distributed tongue weight that you found on the, on the app. Yeah. 
and you're perfectly, truly set up. There's no more guessing game. It'll say right on the gauge that you are set up correctly, or if you don't have it, you're not. So it takes away the guessing game. It's, it took me about 20 minutes to set up from start to finish on any truck and trailer average throughout the, the life of the hitch. Wow. That is so cool. That's, that's what was missing from before was the way to be able to do a weight distributing hitch. Because now you about have to. Like on GM, if you're over 5,000 pounds, you yeah. require it, which means that's your insurance, that's your warranty. Right, exactly. And you finally got that. I'm so glad because now you can weigh your trailer, you can do all that. It's like a scientific way to hook up to your trailer. Exactly. It's great. I love this thing. This is brand new this year. And when will it hit the stores? Or? So it's going to start being distri uh, distributed on December 15th okay. this year, and then it'll be, re it'll be ready for uh, the end of first quarter when the season really hits most states. It's awesome. Yep. So this one will be out soon? Yes, it will be out it's really a beautiful product. That's some, as the engineering team that we went into, all the other hitches out there, all weight distribution just don't look good. I mean, unfortunately, they just don't because they have these arms. Where we took an industrial standpoint as well to make it look like a good hitch. We used you know, a nice flat textured powder coat, and it just looks beautiful on the back of your truck. Another uh, feature I just remembered is you can buy our, uh, our existing WaySafe steel slider. You can take this key lock assembly out, slide your weight distribution hitch off, and quickly put on our way safe steel slider on there with the same draw bar for both hitches. And then you can just switch between standard towing and weight distribution towing in a matter of seconds. So this setup was gonna go for pretty much anything as long as you're not with a fifth wheeler or gooseneck. Co correct, okay. yes, exactly. And that's cool, you actually should be able to put that on pretty fast. Yeah. Yes, yes. So just so use your jack to take pressure off and snap that into the, that L bracket, you yep, gotta yep. make. You can buy these separate for all of your trucks or for all of your trailers. Yeah. And you can use one truck with the same weight distribution hitch and you can save all those setups on the app. Yeah. And you just quickly plug in your new tongue weight because your tongue weight changes between every tow. Whether you have horses or whether you have a you know, full load of tank of water or even propane tank changes your tongue weight. You hook it up, you get your tongue weight right before you start driving. Get your distributor tongue weight off the tool. Every time you go on, you just change your tongue weight. Like we can change this to 800 pounds, let's say. If you're outside of that 10 to 15%, it'll warn you saying unsafe weight towing. We'll still let you go through the app because we don't want you to not correctly distribute your tongue weight even if right. it's wrong because right. it's still a big safety factor. Yeah. And then you just hit calculate and you can see it went from 20, uh, 2550 to 2150 by just changing the tongue weight by 100 pounds. Yeah. Well, that is so cool. That those L brackets, I have those on all my trailers. Yeah. So I'm Perfect. ready. Just give me a hint and I can hook on every single trailer I have. Yep. Well, that is so cool and it's so nice to be able to get your tongue weight, know the weight of all that, that going through a scale house, right. trying to find one and wondering how accurate it is. I love this. This is really a safe way to tow. Yep, it really is. And it's a, a, the nicest thing is, you know, it's just that live adjustment system as well. It's just so quick between each, each trailer. Hookup. You're not you're not fiddling with spacers and washers and retorquing bolts. There's no bolts you have to tighten besides the ones on the trailer bracket. That's a one time That's tight and you're ready to go. That's cool. Is there anything else new coming out? So we actually have a, we're starting to release our uh, gooseneck trailer systems. So okay. if we want, we can go over there. Is that yes. the best way to go? Yes, I want to see it all. Let's go. This is one of our three uh, that we're creating for gooseneck trailers. This is for the above bed rail system. And it's rated for a 30,000 pound trailer. And you can see here, you have your gooseneck tow ball and we have our basic here. And what this does is it allows you to measure your, your pin load weight on your gooseneck trailer. And there's, so you want to be in your safe zone of 15 to 25% for your gooseneck trailers. And then also it lets you know if you're overweight. A lot of trucks aren't made to as much weight as you think they are. So what this does, it tells you exactly how much force the gooseneck trailer is putting on the bed of your truck. And something that this specific unit has is it has a gauge on both sides. And what that allows you to do is um, on some trucks, whether it's one bed or short bed, you need to have your ball offset a certain direction. And so this has a three three inch offset to the tow ball. And then if you and you read the gauge on the driver's side, if you need to flip it around, you can still read the gauge from the tongue weight on the driver's side. So you don't have to go around your truck to see it and get confused. The gauge is offset, right? You think the ball's offset. No. We can't offset the ball. Oh sorry. No, no, I like the 
can see it from inside or outside. Yeah, that's, that's right. a good way. I like so, it. And, yeah, exactly. And then we also are coming out with one for an OEM puck system. Okay. So it will drop right in, the gauge will be on the side. This one will actually lock into place uh, with a key that will match all our other current products so no one can steal that tow ball if you're not towing. That's going to be the big thing, the yeah. OEM replacement one. I mean, you can ram yep. forward, you'll put the ball on there as soon as you get the ice down. Yep, yep. You'll be able to uh, tow it. Nobody knows about the gooseneck waves. That's the most overloaded trailer on earth, is the gooseneck. It is. Exactly. Well, that's, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah, and we'll also develop it for other unmet use their systems. Uh, and that we're hoping to have this ready by the end of first quarter next year. We have production set for this one and both of the other ones we just didn't have in here at the show. Um, so we, we have a few game changers coming up in the game. Okay. Uh, coming up that are really going to change the towing industry. I can't tell you, but all I know is it's really exciting and it's really going to help with safety on the road. That's our number one goal is way safe, to help people waste. Way safe, be safe, and have a tone of peace of mind. Perfect. Thank you for joining us on MrTruck.com. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop-Up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab short bed. So, protect that window. There she is. There it is. Come on. Yeah, we're very excited about this. I mean, you know, we're a big believer in, in, in all shell lubricant products, but the fact that they took their technology from what they've developed for the diesels, and you talk to anybody that's over with the road trucker, somebody with a come in with 400,000 miles and lots of modifications, they all run to a And I'm like, when I found out, I'm like, they have a specialized Rotella brand for gasoline power trucks. So most of what we build, we do diesels, but most of what we build, we build probably on average three to 400 trucks SUVs per year, from Trackhawks to Maximus, to you name it. Uh, but now that we've got Rotella available for our gas trucks, it's very cool. So we're very excited that Rotella gas truck is the official lubricant for Tennessee Performance Trucks and SUVs. So thank you guys very much for that. John, that's an incredible build, but did I hear you correct? You're telling me this has Shell Rotella gas truck engine oil in it? That's it, man. And this thing is, you know, let's be honest. The guys that own these, the guy, the guy that owns this is the, has the largest potato farm in the state of Wisconsin. And is he gonna go off-roading in it? Probably not, but if he's going to, if he's really going to go beat on hard, it's got the six-wheel drive, it's, it's set up to go through the desert, and it can haul a lot of potatoes, and uh, so the Tele gas truck is ready to keep it safe and sound and make it lots of horsepower, no matter how he wants to drive it. How many tons of this truck are Currently, we've tested about 20,000 pounds that he can tow. Um, but again, with the six-wheel wow. drive, it's really handy if you get into like mud or sand. So it's uh, it's somewhat based on the, the inspiration for this vehicle is the AMG Mercedes six by six, and uh, which is certainly you know derived and inspired by military vehicles. And so you've got the extra drive axle. It's a very extreme vehicle. Again, whether our customers are going to dinner in it, going to Mastro's or something, or whether they're going, to, we got one guy that owns one, owns one just like this guy from Germany. He wants to drive across 4,000 miles of Sahara Desert. It will have a Rotilla gas truck in his engine. You know, John, I'm in Texas world, and I, I definitely go to dinner in this. I think I need to make a purchase for it to delight to my family. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> uh, I've got an F-350. We just came to London for the first time. Like 50 bucks bucks bucks. Bucks. Oh, so, thank you for that. Absolutely. I mean, that's an incredible build, and you're saying that's a thousand horsepower? Yeah, and it's, just right, there, it's just right down here. I mean, you, yes. can't, it's you just can't miss. It's got pins all in the windshield. You look under the head, like, that's a Jeep, but it's got a Hellcat engine in it. You know it's not a stock Hellcat engine. It's a thousand horsepower. The first time you saw this in person was at our it just, I love it when we get comments on social media on YouTube and like people say, that's pointless. I'm like, that is exactly the point. I mean, pure ridiculousness. We're in the entertainment business. We're not, yeah, we build cars, but our cars are designed to entertain people so they can have fun and share it with their family and friends. Exactly. And we haven't even got into what happens after you leave the scene of the show at night. I go to bed early, seriously. Hey, John, I'd like to just use the opportunity real quick to say a big thank you. Obviously, you've been a big supporter. I think it's 